In today's video, we're fixing collector rare Yu-Gi-Oh sets. What's up guys, we're back with another epic Yu-Gi-Oh opening. In this video, I will be attempting to fix collector rare Yu-Gi-Oh sets with suggestions for Konami. But before that, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away the Cyber Strike Structure Deck and the Outbound Strike Structure Deck. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know what you think about my suggestions, maybe some tweaks, maybe if you agree or disagree in general. Today we have two booster boxes. We have Secret Slayers and we have Maze of Memories. Both of these sets have their issues. So Secret Slayers was an awesome set because it had the Eldritch stuff and Eldritch was really popular for a while. It was a really, really strong card, but it has issues that you really only pull supers and secrets in the whole set. So opening it is not really that exciting. As for Maze of Memories, it also has its issues. You only pull three ultra rares per box. Most of the time you don't even get a collector rare. So you get 21 supers, then you get three ultras. And that's really it, a bunch of rares because those are your common. So I don't like the setup of this one either. But before we get into how to fix them, I'm going to be opening these boxes. And I also was sent a new knife. I know this will make a lot of you guys really happy because I've received some reason not use my other knife and I have this other knife that's really messed up and this is like the perfect knife for box opening it was sent to me by an unknown person there wasn't a name on it so yeah thank you very much we're gonna open this up and it says Rux of 34 and Yu-Gi-Oh on it so we got to be careful uh you know it's pretty pretty dangerous when it says those on there wow look a sharp knife I can open a box isn't that crazy guys pretty wild all right let's start the opening up as we discuss what we can do to make these better so I'm gonna go through what I don't like about these which a lot of you guys already know as we go we kind of mentioned some of it but first off I don't like that every Every card that's not a foil is a rare. I think that that's weird. I don't get the point of it. What's the point of calling it a rare if you get it every single card? It's very strange. Nimble Angler. Also, I just don't really like the look of regular rares personally, at least the newer ones. I don't know about you guys. There's a super rare right off the bat, but I don't really love how they like look. I'd just rather have a common, I think, at that point. Uh, I don't know about you guys. Here we have Secret Slayer. So this one is a five card set. So there's not like the, this is a, also this is a seven card set. I don't like that. Seven's weird. Five or nine is fine, but seven, it's just really weird. Upstar Goblin, great card. So every Every card in here is a super except for the secret rare so there's a guaranteed secret every pack so it's a little bit weird we got rika fairy stuff i think rika wait isn't rika fairy in this set too weird solemn judgment's also in this set a lot of similarities here that i didn't realize before i started this quacky mirror guardian and a rika sheet that's a secret rare very nice yeah so i like that you get secret rares and supers i think that's cool uh, i think guaranteed secret is fine like in some of these sets it's not like that big of a deal that it's even though it is a secret rare, it seems like it's not. Oh my gosh, that's a super Rux and special right off the bat. Super rare. It's fine. But the problem is I want there to be something more to it, because if you're guaranteed a secret every pack and that's the highest rarity, you're literally guaranteed to pull the highest rarity in a pack, which is if you're a pack opener like me or somebody that just enjoys opening the packs, it's kind of boring. It's like, I know I'm going to get the secret rare. That's literally the highest rarity. There's nothing to really search for. I buy one pack and I've got all the rarities. I have super and secret. So this set is in need. Ooh, a Guardian of the Golden Land for our... Actually, surprisingly, those are not warped because last time I opened Secret Slayers, they were super warped. So this is actually nice to see that they're not like crazy warped. But I would love to see some higher rarities. So I think that you could take some from both of these sets and put them into one thing. So Secret Slayers, they don't make these kind of side sets anymore. They kind of do collector rares instead. So this is kind of like the replacement. I think the best way to do it, first of all, I cannot open these, is to combine both ideas into one. Very nice. Photon Orbital and a Gate Guardian. Very nice. Uh, I think think that if we take both ideas, so let's say in theory, we have a Secret Slayers and Amazing Memories mix. So, so like these style of packs, we're opening this up, Trap Trick, very cool. It could still all be super rares. It could all be, you know, you know, every pack you could guarantee a secret even if you wanted to. Upstart Goblin, very nice. And then a Out of Emancipator Risen Dragite. It's a pretty, Secret Slayers is a pretty good set to be honest. But you could combine both. You could have supers, you could have secrets. Exact same way. So be five cards. So we're cutting out all the rares every pack. It's just a super every pack. Because I'd rather have a super every pack because at least it gives foil upgrades and stuff like that rather than like, nobody wants a rare upgrade a common and a rare what's the difference nobody cares about that so what's the point of having them all rares they might as well be commons overlord fusion we have a on your market set do so yeah it doesn't make sense like who needs a rare just might as well be supers at that point all supers you have a secret rare then you have the chance to get a collector rare so you can still get a collector rare you can also get supers and you get a secret every pack so you get all your kind of foil upgrades that you want for your decks and stuff like that teardrop the rico queen very nice that is a good pull. All right, we'll take that. Uh, yeah, this is a pretty expensive card. I just checked the price guy. It's like a $20 card. Also, apparently there's like a $24 super that we got to keep an eye out for, eye out for that. Or, 
What am I saying? Can we keep an eye out for it right there? Probably because like the new Rika support is making like the older Rika stuff go up. Uh, creepy little punk. We've got a Solemn Judgment. There's a Ruxin special. Look, Solemn Judgment in both packs. It's actually pretty nice. But back to what I was saying, you can continue all those reprints like Solemn Judgment. It was in both of these. You just keep doing that. You keep putting nice reprints in there. You add in Collector Rare. So imagine like, let's say Eldritch is in here. It's the best card. Secret Rare. You can also pull it in a Collector Rare. So you kind of do that with, with, with like Maze of Memories, but it's just Ultras and stuff like that. Aquaria of the Golden Land. That's good for the Eldritch stuff. And then if you wanted to, you could even add an Ultra. So you have supers and then may maybe it's all supers and then an Ultra or a secret like that. And then you have the upgrades with like the, uh, the collector rares as well. So you could have multiple different rarities and you're basically, it's kind of like turning it into more like a core set, but at the same time, Angel of Blue Tears and... Oh, Baron Collector Rare! Oh my gosh, I didn't think that was coming. The best card in the set. This has been a good opening so far. All right, guys. I think that uh, the key is uh, just open packs and don't really go for anything. And then you'll just pull the best cards. Baron to floor. Talk about an amazing pull. Maze of memories. It has been pulled. I was, whoa. Okay. I was like, wait a second. Uh, Baron, this looks a little different. That's not an ultra rare. It's a collector rare. Now imagine if you added that fun that we just had, pulling that collector rare into a set like Secret Slayers, where it's already really strong. It has cool super rare reprints like Trap Trick, like Upstart, like Solemn Judgment. And then you can also get secret rares, ultra rares, and a Baron. So, yeah, Block Dragon's in here as well. Rika, Tranquility. Seems like all the Rika stuff's pretty good. Nine-Tailed Fox, like Naruto, the Dragite, and a Rika Sheet. So another Rika card. That's, and they all seem to be good right now. Okay, that was insane. But the only thing I have is, like, if we do that, are we too close to, like, main sets? But I think the only thing, like, main sets, really, the only difference should be they're just new cards. Like, it doesn't matter if you have a lot of cool rarities in both of them, right? Like, it doesn't matter if we have really... Oh, we got something else. We got back-to-back, -back, double attack and wind. Ooh, wake up your elemental hero. This is about a $10 card last time I checked. This is a very solid one because elemental heroes, naturally. But like, why do you care? Like, like, why would I care if a main set, well, they would have starlights. They wouldn't even have collector rares. It's like, they'd have the lower rarities the same, but who cares about that? I mean, that that's fine, I think. But I guess they maybe don't want to run out of slots for like a, no, it's Snowdrop. It's not this one. Okay. We have Animate Spader Crystal Dragite and Animate Spader Seeker. That used to be a really big one. Still nice for the Animate Spader stuff. But yeah, I guess they don't want to run out of like reprint slots for like hollows. So like if you're super worried about that, you know, you can always do more commons and stuff instead of supers and stuff like that. But I don't know. It's just, uh, oh, 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 oh. Let's do a little pack trick there. Um, I don't know. I just think that it'd be more fun. Blue Sky, Creepy Little Punk. You guys know I have a problem with how these side sets have been done. And they're just... It's a little iffy. They're just not as fun, you know? And I think they could be a lot better. There, there might be a better suggestion. If there's a better suggestion, uh, let me know in the comments. The Lone Fire is even in here. It's a super, a lot of good reprints. Crystal Leonite, Unizombie, just so many good cards. Elixir of White Destiny. All we need to pull now is the Eldritch, and then we're going to be basically killing it. We're going to have pulled so many good cards. We've already pulled the Baron, so, like, we're kind of hot there. If we pull the best card in Secret Slayers as well, it's going to be amazing, so... Mech Knight, we got a Battle Royale mode. We've got the, uh, it says Royal mode, actually, not Royale. Gate Guardian, the Gate Guardian of Wind and Water. Cool, we got the Blackwing Elfin. Why does Elfin have so many reprints? Isn't that card, like, really bad? I don't know, I don't know, it's weird. I can't believe we pulled the Baron. I'm actually shocked. I was not expecting that. We have a Rose Lover. Upstart Goblin, very nice. We have the Hellborn, the Rika Fairy, another cool one. Solemn Judgment, <laughs> another good reprint. And Conquistador of the Golden Land. All of the Eldritch is coming together. All right, we are not even close, like, done with this opening. We've already pulled insane. So if we can continue that, I will be happy. Uh, let's just let's just combine these sets together in the future. What do you guys think? Oh, Rux and Special. On your mark, it said duel. Du -du -du -du. All right, very cool. Next pack, Secret Slayers. Will it be the one and only Eldritch? Cyclamen, the Rika Fairy. We have a Churabime, Princess of Autumn Leaves. And Adaban's Pater Relief. I don't think I ever have seen that card before. I don't remember pulling that. Maze up next. Already pulled a Baron. So if we could have a Baron Baron box, you know, double Baron, that'd be pretty cool. Let's see if we can do it. We have Performal Pat. We have Rux and Special right off the bat. Kazi didn't double Rux and Special. Wow. Double. Ru I'm telling you guys, it's Maze of Memories. It's just difficult to open, okay? Cut me some slack. It is difficult to open. Let's see what the next pack. Solemn Judgment. We have so many of those. We have a Leonite. We have a Quackamere Overlord. Cyclamen added again. And Eldorado, Adelantano, Eldorado, Adelantano. Is that supposed to ram, ram, 
rhyme, rhyme, man, I can't speak today. Which honestly, not me, me not being able to speak is not really a new thing. It feels like every single time I record, this happens. Okay, let's go. Uh, you know, I, I never learned how to speak, guys. It's just a thing. Ryoku Guardian, we got the time to stand up. Gate Guardian of Wind and Water, very cool. Secret Slayers, please bless us with something epic. We've already been blessed by Maze. Will you bless us as well? Snowdrop, yes! This is like a $24 card, according to the outside of the price guide. I didn't click in to see what the lowest listing is, but so pretty crazy. Ill Blood's nice. Raptite, we have a Block Dragon. Imagine there's an Elish in here as well. Ooh, a Seeker, that's still pretty good. Seeker did get a reprint. Um, the thing is, Eldritch has also gotten a reprint, but because they printed it in gold, nobody really cares about the reprint. Even, even with the cool artwork of him sitting back in his chair, still nobody wants him because they just don't like gold. So yeah, that's just how it goes. You guys know, we've had a lot of gold videos on this channel. Time to stand up, Super Soldier Ritual, Evolution and Burst. Okay, nothing too crazy there. All right, Secret Slayers, you've been good to us. We've pulled some amazing stuff, but you haven't been the best to us. Let's see if you can do that. Pyramid of Wonders, Quakumir, Sandman, bah, 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 Rose Lover. We have a Adamant's Pater Risen Leonite. Okay, that's a secret rare. Now we move back to Maze of Memories, which if we were doing a battle right now, would be dominating with that Baron. Forge a new future. We have Performer Pal, Imperial Iron Wall, no Rux and Special, Photon Orbital, Labyrinth Heavy Tank, another super rare. Secret Slayers. I mean, I, let me know, guys, in the comments, what do you think of the best way? It, or just let me know, am I wrong? Do we not need to change these at all? Do you think they're fine? Galaxy Cyclone. Um, I don't know. Just let me know what you guys think. Uh, Marina, Princess Sunflowers, that's a Duel Links card. And Elixir of Scarlet Sanguine, we've got another trap card. I'm excited to read the comments of this video and see what you guys think because I feel like a lot of you guys agree with me that we they need to change somehow. I just don't know how you guys think we should do it. Gate Guardian, very nice. That's a Rux and Special. Well, almost Rux and Special. I held it back, but it is very difficult to not Rux and Special here. Secret Slayers, I just think, imagine if you could pull a crazy Seeker Rare, you could pull an Ultra Rare, you could pull a collector rare all in the same set and you'd pull like multiple different you know foil cards solemn judgment that's good and el dorado adelantado at it again another secret rare we're back to maze of memories will it have a baron de flor ultra rare we have a battle royale well, labyrinth wall red eye soul okay i feel like we're gonna have something causing yeah because it didn't rocks and special we have the court of justice and yes the double baron box let's go that is insane! This is the best Maze of Memories box you could really hope for because not only do we have Baron Collector Rare, we have Baron Ultra Rare, then we have the Wake Up Your Elemental Hero, which is one of the best cards. All we really needed was the Excel Stardust, whatever he's called. All right, this is insane. This is insane. We are pulling crazy. We have a Nine-Tailed Fox, Unizombie, Doki Doki. We have a DD Borderline and... Uh, Mudan, the Rika Fairy. Another Rika Fairy. That's good stuff. So far, I mean, with the Snowdrop, we want to pull more of, the, more of those because it's a $24 card, which is absurd. Okay, next up, we have Deep Dark Trap Hole. Very cool. Baryon Utopia. Suijin. Mm. Creepy Little Punk. And the Sylvan High Protector added again. Okay, more stuff that we are not really looking for, but that's okay. Because I really cannot complain about this opening. It has been insane. I just want to pull a freaking Eldritch. It'd be crazy. Raptite, we have a Marina. We have Tyla, Telaya, and Hakuera. Okay, so we're getting all the Eldritch support, but we're just not getting the Eldritch. We're basically going to be able to play the deck minus Eldritch. Pretty sure I have some gold ones we could play, though, if I really wanted to. We have the Blackwing. We have Nimble Angler. Treacherous Trap Hole, Super Soldier Ritual, Overlay Network, another super rare. Let's do this. Adam Emancipator, Lapatite, Rock Bombardment, Upstar Goblin, another good common, or not common, foil. Kazizazi, and a Adam Emancipator Research, also another good one for the Adam Emancipator stuff, which isn't that great right now. And Duel Links, or uh, Master Duel, it's pretty good, but uh, not currently in the meta of Yu Gi Oh!, but that's okay. Maybe it'll come back one day. Rika Petal, Forge a New Future. Treacherous Trap Hole. Oh, Rux and Special. Gate Guardian combined. That's a super rare. And the Blackwing Elf and the Raven again. All right, we are down to the last six-ish packs. It's been sort of a longer video, but maybe actually going to end up more on our... Oh, Rika Petal Super Rare. So, Petal Super here and a... There's a Rika Petal Rare there as the reprint. We got the Quakimira Wall, Block Dragon. 
Out Emancipator Crystal Reptite, and a Out Emancipator Analyzer. We're getting all of them right now. All the Out Emancipators will be pulled in this video. What will we get in this Collector Rare set? Will, I mean, we've already pulled amazing. I really can't, okay. Okay, okay, I'm gonna just do it like this because it's Rux and Specialing every time. We got a Super. Also, I don't know, we may or may not have anything left in this box. I can't remember how many Ultras we pulled, but we've already gotten a Collector Rare. So if we get another one of those, that would be insane. We got a Guardian. Doki Doki, good card. Solemn Judgment, also a good card. Raptite and Rika Flurry. So more Rika. I mean, at this point, I think Rika is a good pull, so we'll take it. All right, we're down to four packs left of each. This is getting intense. Will we pull something good? Don't forget to let me know in the comments. There's the pedal. What you guys think would be the best change for these kind of sets? Red Eye Soul. No, we do have another Ultra. Will it be the Excel Synchron thing? Oh, a Blackluster Soldier Legendary Swordsman. That's also good. It's like a $10 card. Literally almost the best case scenario for this box. We pulled two $10 cards, a Baron, and then a Baron Collector Rare. You literally cannot beat that unless one of those $10 cards was the Excel Synchron Stardust guy who's like 20 bucks. But that's the only way. That's the only way it gets any better. And we're like at the 99.9% .9 out. Lone Flyer Blossom, nice. Pyramidal Wonders and come on, Eldritch. Okay, Adam Spader, not bad, not bad. Three packs left of each. We would also like another Rika Snowdrop Fairy or whatever she's called. Let's go. I'm just saying, this is the first video since we've had the new knife. Maybe that's maybe that's a thing. Maybe it's a thing. Mag Knight, Pray the Jurai Gumo, Side Beast. Okay, nothing crazy there. Oh, and wait, wait, wait. There was a third Secret Slayers pack hanging out back there. That's a good sign. Maybe we'll pull something else because there's an extra pack. Rika Tranquility, okay. Nine-tailed Fox, Naruto, Dragites, Rose Lover, and... Ooh, Pramula, the Rika Fairy. This is also a pretty good one. It's about a $3 card, so it's not like insane, but I mean, $3 is not nothing. That's that's something there for a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Two packs left of each. Let's see what we can do. I keep thinking this is the end of this box, this uh, Maze of Memories box, and guess what? It just keeps going, so I'm not gonna doubt it this time. Okay, Solemn Judgment is really not the end. That's a good card. Ah, Secret Slayers, come on. Pull us something big here. We have a Raptite. Snowdrop, yes, that is big. That's something big. It's a super rare. All right, Illblood, we have an Adamantspated Adam Crystal Raptite. We could have a huge pack here if it has an Elblitch inside. A mood on the Rika Fairy, another good one. That's, wow, that was a pretty strong pack. All right, last two packs of this crazy opening. Wow, talk about some good cards have been pulled. Okay, I've enjoyed this. The whole point wasn't even to pull the good cards. It was just to talk about how bad the sets were and how they could be better, but maybe we're proving it the opposite way. We got a Gate Guardian. Mood on, there it is, as just a regular rare. So we got the secret and the rare in the same set. Same opening, I should say, not the same set. Secret Slayers, last pack. Will it have the Eldritch of the Golden Lord? Erica the Rika Fairy, nice. Quarky Mirror Guardian. Titanial, Princess of Kamalia. good for Edison. A Tyla, Princess of Cherry Blossoms. And finally, come on, last pack magic. Here we go. Ooh, a Guardian of the Golden Land. Still a good card. Okay, we didn't pull the Eldritch, but that's okay because we pulled a Collector Rare Baron today, which was insane. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxter, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy Hoppus, Choice 333, Micycle, James Jance, TCG Trust of Cards, America Deutzer, Supreme Sage 21, and Anna Tai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barty, Mimic Gecko, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.